Team Deathmatch. Slimy ball. How's it going, everybody? Today I finally got into a match on the map Oasis. It's been the map that I've always been trying to get a game in on the MW3 DLCs, as I've seen some gameplay on it in the past, and I've always thought that it was one of the coolest maps on the DLC packs available on this game. Unfortunately, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I got stuck into a lobby with two cheaters in this session. I ended up barely going positive in this game. You guys will see I showed most of the deaths from those two guys on the other team with them pretty much knowing exactly where everybody was at through walls. In the next game, I ended up dropping a Moab on one of them because the other ended up rage quitting by the end of this match. And then two games later, you guys will see, I'm going to show it in this video on Terminal, where the one that stayed ends the lobby because his team was down like 30 to 12 or something early in that match. I just find it completely ridiculous that people still got to cheat on these great games, man. Like, it, it just completely ruins them, especially when there's barely any lobbies going to begin with. Like, I, I spent I don't know how many hours trying to get into this DLC session. Like, y you literally have to wait multiple hours just sitting in a lobby waiting for seven other people to join. And one of them, the Giannis guy was waiting in there with me for about an hour and a half and I messaged him after these games and I said really you waited all this time just to use an aimbot the other kid grabbed host and ended the server on terminal a couple games later I, I, I just don't understand people that have to waste so much time out of their own life trying to load into a DLC session and then they're gonna fucking cheat on top of it and just kill the server. I mean, nobody's going to stay in there. It's one thing if you're trying to post content on this game like I am for the DLCs, but don't waste your time and then cheat hours later, especially in the DLC sessions. It, that just doesn't make any sense to me. And I mean, I have literally been wanting to play on that particular map, Oasis, for I don't know how many years. And then go figure, this is how it goes the first time I'm actually in a lobby with that map coming up. I'm still going to show the DLC content because it was my first time playing on that map. I still can't believe one of those cheaters ended up getting Moabbed in the game after this one. I'll probably post that later on today after I post this video. And that Moab was on one of my favorite maps of all time on Mission. Anyways guys, I'm still hoping for a remastered Call of Duty collection. We're seeing the Star Wars games from the early 2000s get remastered. It kind of gives me a little bit more hope that Microsoft will eventually do something for Call of Duty. And I would love to see all the DLCs be free for all of those games from World at War to Black Ops 2 with those five Call of Duty games. Those have been the best ones in the series from World at War to Black Ops 1, to MW2, to MW3, to Black Ops 2. Everybody loves all five of those games. I mean, imagine if you put all of those on a remastered Call of Duty collection with all the DLCs being included in it. I mean, how many people would end up buying that? And it would break so many records for sales for video games. And then maybe I could actually play every single DLC map, not just on this game, but on several others as well for the first time. One can dream at least. Anyways, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this content in this video. And then like I said, I'll post the Moab later on today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys a little bit later.